All right, so I have a look at a bout uh, that I thought would be a bit wilder by Smoke, but he actually just, like, actually super cleanly just deals with Alimzanov, which is by no means an easy feat. So, yeah, let's just dive in and go have a look at the bout because uh, I thought there's a lot of really good hits. So let's go in. Uh, so, yeah, Omar Smoke. Typically, uh, especially at Nax, he's got a bit, uh, he's pretty wild and really gets in people's head. And here, Lemzanov is typically, he's typically just a, a very well-rounded fencer. Doesn't do anything crazy, but he's very good at everything. Very good hand hits uh, specifically as well. So here, a nice little early flick by Omari Smoke. Right, so I would say here what probably happened is you notice the first one is dead close and you didn't really get threatened on the hand and you just try again and you get it uh, not right the hand can only be in so many places you just give it a shot if it hits great and if you don't get punished even better very good repose so what triggered him oh, so it's actually an infighting so this is with French grips, we'll fall victim to that. So, big invite. Alimzanov bites. Omari Smoke actually gets the repost or the parry, but not the repost. And because Alimzanov is a bit more grounded on the legs, he ends up getting it. What was the trigger? Wow, like I'm wondering if he just tried it or if he... Uh, I... Th Cause like there was a four, but I don't, I don't know like if he instigated it or not. But either way, it was really nice. Let's, let's look at it again slowly. My guess it was a bit of both. He would have tried the flick regardless. Whatever parry happens, you end up getting the flick over anyway. Try again. With, so yeah, so yeah. So he tries again, but barely any reaction other than distance pull. So here we got a high tip. So very easy to expect the six there, right? So look at the distance, right? So the distance gets closed, but nothing with the hand from smoke and a relatively clean lunge disengage. You can see here, he's showing a lot of a lot of tip motion, right? It really distracts. So this time he gets the distance in. Right, but there's a lot more distraction early on. So let's let's break that down. So distance so distance is far, it gets close. But this time there's actually hand action, right? They don't just close in and you get a single tempo. He closes in and distracts him. And then he's actually able to grab the six. And he grabs it like that's strong. He says French grip can't take the blade. Show him this.
close. This was so close. Look at the distraction. Low hand. Low hand. He is dead close to hitting that. Really good opposition. He disarms him. And I would really... So they both close the distance. Alimzanov wants to go in and punish. But look how clean this is. This is like straight out of a lesson. Alimzanov locks arm his arm. And one of the things when you lock out your arm that early is you're a lever. So unless you're hitting in that moment, you're probably going to get absolutely run out of the way. And then... A very smooth tip, boom, gets it in and disarms him. This is not easy to do. This is like, this is an insanely clean hit. So right here you can see Smoke is actually kind of taken over like, yeah, he just got the comeback. But yeah, I can kind of feel that he's got, he's taken over the momentum of the bout. You see this here, Elmsanov tries to push. But the smoke's not having it. So this, oh, this is actually so smoke's not having it. But I think he got pulled on purpose. So look, push. He's like, you know what? I'll let you follow me. And the action's a little rush. Basically, just not hand first. So here, right, he's getting pushed. So right here, he shows a six. Because the legs are a little too fast behind the hand, the tip was a little sharper for Alim Zanov. So it was a good idea, but the execution was a little off. Ooh. And he's really good at pulling people in. But, like, if you don't respect this, like, he doesn't quite finish it because he sees that. So I can relate to this. My instinct is to go in and finish it, but that would probably net me a double. But Smoke's in good enough of a position where you can actually just grab the six. He kind of misses the first one, but the second one is super clean. This is, this comes with experience. If you're doing a, f I, I don't know if like this was meant to hit or not, but like if you're doing that deep, it looks more like a feint. If you're doing that deep of a feint, uh, it can't be a feint really. Too committed. And a guy like that, Alimzanov, he will absolutely just pick that apart. Distracted by this one, I thought it was the end of the period. Ooh. Foot, so yeah, so his reaction, so Smoke's reaction when he goes for the foot, he likes to spring back. He locks it in, and then sometimes a little soft and way too high on his legs in a repost. And when there's a chaotic situation, I would always give it to Smoke. And he's able to flick in his tip right so the six comes in and you're able to just kind of use that momentum to flick, flick of the wrist as it were in terms of rhythm i'm surprised anyway like when i fence smoked there was a lot of a lot of rhythm as it were and i guess a lot of uh, heated words to some extent oh. so this is this is in the playbook, right? Just absolutely, like, just take advantage of any little inch you can get. Pretty clever. High risk, high reward. So, yeah, if I were coaching Smoke, I'd be, like, less engaged with the legs and kind of play with the hand more. 
make sure you're getting those hits you want. Uh, LMs are not out, so man, you need to have like, you need to call them out a bit more when prepping. Because like, right now it's very, not necessarily passive, but it's borderline reactive on a lot of his hits. I need a bit more commitment on when you want to go ahead. Now you got to call out some of the feints so he's not feeling too comfortable attacking. So let's let's watch how he steals the steals the distance here. Right, so on the first one, he's showing low, like very aggressively, like ooh, like sensor, like uh, as far if you're fencing that and you see that in your face and you get that much ooh. And then he shows less aggressive with the high hit. And then as soon as the distance is closed back up, Amazon is kind of expecting the same deal, so he fakes it. And he wants to go high, right? He wants to, you can see him. He was attempting to flick it up or flick it in from up. And Amari Smoke closes the line right away. So far, this is some excellent fencing. That was... Uh, so a really nice interrupt by Alamzanov, although very close by Omari. Boom. Boom. So an aggressive step forward. So here, if you're seeing that, if you're like, if I see it again, I will go flick it in. And he really just halts his step, right? The rhythm is way different. And that small steps allows you more finesse with the hand. So well set up by Alim Zanov. Really nice. So right away like he's establishing control he scared the crap out of him right this is a panic response you grab your distance you're getting rushed grab your distance but now the problem is he got rushed all the way back here and then it becomes right this weird if you're going straight straight on a french grip the french grip will usually win it out you're hoping for a double but So tactically, so far, Smoke is just running the show. Uh, and he really did his homework. That was really nice. Come back in. This feint. And like, ooh. Very Cannon-esque. So rhythm is up. A big, big rhythm. And then just a really simple finish. Right, was that? So, right, Amzanov goes in. He's expecting something. He pulls back. He's like, oh, there's a blade. Crap. And he's done. So this is what you gotta be careful. So, so this is what I this is what I I was saying earlier. If if someone's right, you someone especially French grip, 
with these kind of with our kind of styles, you don't want them to feel comfortable to set up. So you got to call it out once in a while to make sure that they're being honest. And then here, you got to be very confident and then boom, you just call it out and you got to be committed about it. Smoke counters that by just putting relentless pressure. And then right this forces right away. You can tell Amazon I was just not comfortable. He's not able to set up anything. You sit a little bit thing, and then he goes for a really weird toe hit on the uh, like on to me in this kind of momentum, it's just our opponent's pressuring, like this is a pure panic toe hit because he just gets run over with it. Ah, so then in return though, Smoke does his own. Right, opponent is... We start, the foot, like, opponent's foot's already in the air. This is a death sentence for a toe hit. You're just gonna get a tip to the face, much like the previous hit. So, it's hard to say. Did he pass? Like, who's doing the passing? And then he's lost balance. Smoke asked for a video. And then if I recall, let's watch it one more time. Here. So does this count? Are they passed? Can't really hear the resolution, but they don't give it. If I was coaching here, I'd be telling Smoke, like, you don't want to be around here. This is where you're going to get taken advantage of. You need to stay as kind of, not necessarily the aggressor, but like the perpetrator. You need to let him, like, you need to force him to fence you and definitely not the other way around. Now, I'm Janov, I'd be like, well, you got to find your way to impose yourself because even that last one, right? He did it. I like, I wouldn't want, if I was on Zano, I don't want to see him here. This is dangerous. This is, yeah, this is a good call out. And the reaction time is good. But French grips will double, right? We just we just get our tip in there. But I like that the Alums and Ob is starting to be more aggressive. Ooh. There, so smoke got a little too close with not quite enough tip presence, and Anzanov instantly punishes it. Ooh. So in return, smoke does close to a very similar thing. Get a little close, try to punish. Nice hit. Oh, wow. Look at how it's small this press. Boom. Right in. Like, not ready at all. So I, I like the courage it takes to do that. But look how small the second one is and how loaded those legs were. Very nice. Takes a lot of courage, like that's just completely catching him Alimzanov off guard. Well done. 
Like sometimes, yeah, the, a lot of high risk, like it's not necessarily my style. I tend to be overly an analytical, as you may or may not know. But like, if you, if you have the courage to do that, the worst case there, maybe a double. Because uh, I don't know if they've shown us any crazy parries. So overall, like uh, I say it's a well-calculated risk. Oh, and now he's shown us one parry. So this is so like, look at all the distractions being shown. How are you supposed to focus on which parry to do, right? Lots of distractions. Six, four, six. Boom. Nice our repose. The remise hits. What's. And then, right, he gets a little too close. It goes for the hit. Parry. We are like, because we're a little too close, we're forced to stand up. And Omari just whoop, sneaks it in. And a lot of people, like, now he's just feeling himself. Almjanov is, like, not confident about his actions, and... A little high, like, this even felt a little far. We start off with a little low. Even gets the retreat. No chance. This is very confident fencing. And then, like, if you're feeling that good, like, if you're Smoke, like, Alamjanov tries to switch his weapon to slow down the tempo. Uh, Smoke's not having it. He's a man of confidence. He's gonna go finish this off. Really nice double. Big arm, like, big arm feint. And then a bit, like, just good double. Well done. Nice. Overall, like, fantastic fencing by Smoke. I think when he's, like, super calm, well, calm, relatively speaking, disciplined like that, like, his fencing does all the talking for him. Uh, obviously, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.